Welcome back to the monthly mistake series. My name is Stephanie Yen. In today's video, I'm going to show you the five mistakes that I saw in September. So let's get started by 30 to 20 Q mistake. That's the game. Uh, let me show you what happened in the actual game. The so white played a knight's move, black kicked, white uh, tar, uh, haunted, black haunted Atari, black connects, white Atari, black Ataris, white connects, and then black laddered. All right, where is the first mistake? The approach here at uh, E15. Um, I think for most of the beginners, uh, sometimes it's really hard to find uh, approach move that I understand because each corner looks very similar and then it's kind of hard to find uh, the three four point approach uh, like how do we approach the start point All right the reason why e15 is not approach move is because that's on the fifth line all right so now probably um, you will have another question how do we know the stone is on the fifth line um, if I play the stone right here is it on the third line or is it on seventh line that's actually a very good question. All right, so let me tell you the, the easiest way to see the move is whether on the third line or the seventh line is we always count from the closed edge. So the board is a square, we have a four edges on the board, but we do always count from the closed edge. So which means this stone is closer to the edge on the top, so the stone is on the third line. <clears throat> so the correct move to approach the three four point corner is either here that's the small knight's move approach or the one space high approach but in this situation since white uh, started Chinese opening uh, it's not too ideal to play the uh, approach move um, inside of the Chinese opening because there is no not enough space for a black to make extension but a black can approach from the lower left corner by playing here or sometimes you can play the one space high approach even though it's not as um, common as the small knights move nowadays but that's still doable all right then in the actual game black played here which is on the fifth line and white uh, played a knight's move, black kicked. Uh, personally, I don't think a kick is a good move, uh, but I won't say this is a mistake. Uh, the correct move or the better move for black to play right now is the one space jump. Uh, this move is kind of like a helping move. Uh, black is, is helping white to get more territory in the corner. And the Hane is also not very good. But at this point, uh, white played a round move as well. Uh, it's too chicken, I would say, um, to play the Atari move right here because uh, obviously there's a cutting point in the corner, so white can just simply cut. Um, what shouldn't worry about the fight on the top. If black tries to escape here, white can still hunt it. The corner is fine. The two black stones are in more danger. All right, so now let's look at the next mistake. This is the game played by 19 to 10 Q players. And black just invaded here, and it looks pretty deep. And white played a large knight's move instead, which is the mistake. So the correct move should be the small knight's move on the top or the cap. Uh, the reason why this move is better than the actual game is because um, after the large knight's move, obviously we can see there's a two space away and there's um, uh, attachment move for black to escape. So if black attaches here, there's no way for white to enclose on the top anymore. But in the actual game, um, black made mistake as well. Black played this move, which I will call it a uh, chicken move as well. Um, Usually, when we're in a in a danger, more dangerous the situation, we want to escape or run away as fast as we can. But this move is kind of too too slow. And then white blocked on the top, 
Black play to one space jump and wait in close to perfectly. It's a very good move. And then Black right now it's in trouble, in big trouble. And then Black play the clam here and try to make some Ajis on the right side. And White connected, Black connected, and then White play to one space jump, which is another mistake. So right right now uh, the better move is just turn on the top or extend on the top uh, if black tries to honey then there's a cutting point here that white doesn't have to worry about even though the stone is captured but the three stones on the top is much bigger so what happened is after white played a one space jump since there's many um, cutting points on the top then black now is able to escape so you probably have a question what if white blocks here it seems um uh, fine the the black's group is around it but then black will push and cut and then let's see who's going to win the capture race so white now has to block one of the liberties on the top and then black can just simply otari and two versus a two even though um, black can also connect here to increase more liberties um, without increasing liberty by connecting here black already won by one liberty ahead all right so now let's look at the next mistake this game is played by nine to one q player and right now it's white's turn in the actual game white played a two space extension here um, and a white a black blocked um, i won't say the two space extension is a mistake but we do have a better move, which is uh, the one space extension. But probably you have a question, why is a one space extension is better than two space extension? Um, am I supposed to get more eye space when my grip is in danger? That's correct. But in this situation, since black has the three, the three space of pincer on the side already, if we make two space extension here, it, it is too close to the black stone and after black blocks here it looks like white has more eye space but right now it's really hard to find a good follow-up moves so if we try to if we try to expand eye space by playing here then you will leave a perfect shape which is called a honey on the face of two uh, which is a really bad shape for white that's pretty good shape for black and in the actual game, White didn't play the extension move. Instead, White played a Kasumi here, which is another uh, bad move. Um, because with this ex exchange move, the corner invasion is almost gone. Um, if White, let's say, played a one space jump and then successfully escaped, and then we don't have to worry about this group anymore later on, White can still play the 3-3 invasion and make a love in the corner but with the Kasumi on the top and in the actual game what actually played a 3-3 invasion immediately which is a mistake um, even even though this group is already alive this 3-3 invasion won't work anymore because black now can either play the Kasumi or descend will work too because after black after white plates the, the knight's move here and then black is able to completely block from the outside and the eye space in the corner is too small all right now probably you have a question without the, the kosumi exchange on the top how does white make a life okay let me give you an example so without the kosumi on the top after white plays the 3-3 three, three invasion uh, instead of we're playing the knight's move, white now needs to use the peep as a sente. And then white now is able to increase more eye space on the bottom and come back to the 3-2 point. And now as we can see, oh, oops, uh, white has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 6 spaces and a straight 5 that's completely a live shape. Now, so instead of using the knight's move, white needs to use the peep that's the key move to make the corner alive all right so now let's look at the next mistake 
This game is played by one to four done players, and right now it's Black's turn, and I just played a peep here, and I just counted the board uh, without adding the Komi to White's territory. Black now is leading around 12 points. So it really depends on um, who will play well, better in the end game, if this group is alive. All right, so in the actual game, Black connected, and White played a Kasumi and push Atari. As we can see, there's only one eye on the bottom. So Black right now has to find the second eye, which is up to this point. There's no way for White for Black to make the second eye on top because the space is really small. So connecting here is the mistake. So where is the correct move? Which is push. And of course, White now has to Atari, uh, uh, either Atari or Block. Actually, the Atari doesn't make any difference. I will show you in just one minute. And after push and Block needs to cut here. Uh, if Block is able to kill this White Stone, now we can see this is a real eye on the top. So White has to escape. And then Block can push one more time. And White extends. Black now comes back to Atari the other still, and bump, push, that's pretty straightforward. As we can see, the, this Atari here uh, doesn't make any difference. We can Atari these two stones anytime we want. Uh, the main point, the key point um, in this life and death situation is Black needs to kill these two black white stones or the entire group in the center. So now, if white pushes here, then black and block, then push here, then the black and cut. So after this point, since black has the bump move here, the two white stones are already captured. If white makes the Atari move first, that will be the same thing. As long as black has a stone sente here, then Black can use Otari and Bump this move to capture these two white stones. Um, but in the actual game, unfortunately, white, Black didn't see this push and cut, and then this entire group is dead, and then White won this game. All right, now let's look at the next mistake. This game is played actually by myself uh, against a Chinese 5 down pro in the most recent international women's tournament watching Wing cup um, I was playing this game at 12 a.m. Eastern time uh, it's because you really will have to travel to the tournament place but since the COVID situation we had to play this game online and then you know there's um, 12 hour difference uh, in Beijing in Beijing time is 12 uh, p.m. but I had to play this game at 12 a.m. in New York time and then it lasted until 5 a.m. so I was very exhausted um, I did pretty good job in the opening and um, at one point uh, in the opening I had 89% for winning chance uh, but I didn't do that well in the mid game and she caught up a little bit uh, but still, it's uh, it, it's still a pretty close game until I made a mistake. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna show you where the mistake is. So why just played a knight's move on the board? Um, I wasn't thinking about Aji on the left side and didn't pay that much attention uh, of my own uh, Aji or weakness on the bottom. And then more importantly. I made a misread mistake. So I was thinking this whole white scrub is not alive yet. That is true. It's not 100% alive. But it is really hard to kill because I have um, some Ajis in the center, my four stones in over here. It's not that strong enough. So I played a Kasumi, which is really bad exchange move to help white get stronger, then my weakness the, and Aji on the bottom is getting um, even more dangerous for me. And then I was too 
focused on attacking this white group, then I played、uh, peep and extend, and I thought that was a sentai, but that's totally wrong. <laughs> um, and then white pushed and peeped. Now my three stones are almost dead. Even though in the actual game I made it alive, but I sacrificed a lot of、uh, points and stones in order to make the three stones alive. Then I lost this game. So I was reading this sequence during the game, and I thought that was a sente to reduce White's eye space. And then I played the Kasumi. Then this whole group is dead. But actually, why can't just simply make a tigerish mouth? And now it's bent four. So how can a bent four be a dead group? All right. So instead of playing the Kasumi here, that's an even worse move.、Um, I should push here to、uh, at least to connect my three stones. And later on, I can still use some Aji、uh, in the center to attack this entire white group. And then white now needs to focus on fixing the aji in the top left corner. If I'm able to save these two stones, I don't think white will have enough territory. All right.、Um, so don't worry about、um, the other moves. I know you probably are interested in seeing this move, and Ryan is going to、um, comment it on this game in his pro game commentary version. So if you are interested, just check it out. All right, so these are the five mistakes that I saw in September. If you like the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up.、Uh, if you have any questions, just leave the comments below. If you like to support us, just simply follow the link here. If you're interested in our Wednesday lecture videos, just check it out here. My name is Stephanie. I will see you next time.